big controversy over the little fire ant. Today, a response from the State Department of Agriculture over its role in investigating the nurseries that donated ant-infested plants to the Punahou Carnival. Diana Ko follows up. Senator Richards. This is the sentence in question from last Thursday. Um, sent out five letters to five businesses that were identified as at what were categorized as the bad actors, the, the, that initial group. Um, and four of them quickly responded and were handed over to our team to follow, follow up with. One of them, there was no additional response. Kishida said he couldn't get a response from Pualani Landscape and Design. Wednesday, owner Greg Culver said on air the State Department of Agriculture never contacted him. Thursday, he clarifies he meant... You're saying nobody told you the Senate was going to be discussing this? That's correct. But he does say the Ag Department has contacted him in the past to do inspections. They're telling me that you, quote, refused to let him on. You know, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're saying. I've never been unresponsive to anybody. I have never said, don't come on this land. They had asked me in the past, could, I, could we come on and help you? And I said, you know, we don't need the help. So that's as far as I know. Culver says he's familiar with the inspection process and could do it himself. They had a small amount of people and we, we know how to do it and we've taken our precautions. We always do. I, I have a program in our nursery of what we do. On the phone, you said it was a misunderstanding. You thought you were doing them a favor right. and then they've characterized it to me as a refusal. Right. So how, how do you think that happened? I think this whole fire ant thing got kind of blown out of, in my opinion, blown out of proportion. And now it's become a, a major hot topic. Culver says he is working with Herd's team now. The Ag Department responded had Mr. Culver and his landlord allowed the Department of Agriculture on the premises, agriculture inspectors would have conducted a survey for the little fire ants. Senator Jared Kiohakalole, head of the Consumer Protection Committee, commented, the lack of accountability around this whole incident is disturbing. How is any of this acceptable when we're in an invasive species crisis? In related news, lawmakers passed House Bill 2619, which appropriates $1 million to study the risk assessment of the ant spread. It is awaiting Governor Josh Green's signature. The governor's office says Green supports this bill, but all bills, quote, must go through a legal, fiscal and policy review within the administration to ensure there's no flaws or problems that would prevent him from enacting it. Diana Coe, Island